Chapter 46 After meeting Nina, Alex had walked in the same direction for one hour and on a different path for two more hours. After three hours, it got dark. So Alex had to find a safe place to sleep. He chose one big tree for that. He put his tent under the tree and let Golbat sleep on the tree, in case a Pokemon wants to attack Alex in the middle of the night. The next day early morning, Alex was sitting with his three Pokemon and having breakfast with them under the shade of this tree. Ralts was happily chatting with Golbat and Scyther over breakfast. She is the only member of Alex's family that is friendly and nice. That is why she is so popular. Golbat, Scyther, and Alex are very fond of Ralts. Alex thought about leaving the forest to escape the chase of Nina, but he decided against it. He doesn't want to run away from something unlikely to happen. Nina is arrogant but not stupid. Why hire several elite trainers for several days to hunt down a trainer just because he slightly offended you? That would be shameful for her too. The fact itself that she needed the help of elite trainers for one unofficial member would show how incompetent she is. Apart from that, Alex doesn't believe that Nina dares to chase him herself. He made it clear that he would seek revenge if she tries to attack him. That shows Alex's madness. Like a crazy dog, he would bite anyone who tries to harm him. So most likely, she will go to her family to complain. And let them handle him. So, for now, he has lots of time to hide. Golbat suddenly shouted at breakfast. He warned Alex that a large Pokemon is about to come in this direction. Alex took Ralts and walked behind Scyther and Golbat so that he and Ralts are not easy targets. After only five seconds, Alex saw a large Ursaring walking in his direction. Pokemon. Ursaring. LV. 36. Type. Normal. Abilities. Guts. Gender. Male. Potential. Bronze. Moves. Leer. Scratch. Lick. Fury swipes. Fake tears. Faint attack. Rest. Slash. E. Alex was shocked by a Pokemon that is LV36 only had bronze potential. That shows how old this Pokemon is. It must have taken a long time to reach that level. This Ursaring must be the ruler of this area. He moved slowly with an arrogant expression on his face. He looked at Alex and his Pokemon. He has probably not met any opponents for a long time that could harm him. He was looking at Alex and his Pokemon like food. Golbat, Scyther, and Alex got mad that this Ursaring is so arrogant. Although this Ursaring is powerful, he is not so strong that he can defeat Alex and his Pokemon alone. Alex looked coldly at Ursaring and said, Get away from here. You can't defeat us alone. He wasn't 100% sure that he could defeat this Ursaring with Scyther and Golbat. He would rate the chance at 85%. He thinks that winning this fight isn't worth the risk. A bronze Pokemon doesn't make a big difference. Although Ursaring is LV36, the price does not increase significantly. Only Pokemon from LV40 are worth much more. As soon as a Pokemon reaches the elite rank, it becomes significantly more powerful than before. For example, one Ursaring that reaches LV40 can defeat two Ursarings that are LV39. That shows the LV40 is a very significant level for the strength of Pokemon. As far as Alex knows, LV40, 60, and LV80 are important LV benchmark that makes a Pokemon strong. Although he doesn't know how strong a Pokemon is at LV60 compared to a Pokemon at LV59, he thinks it is a similar increase as at LV40. Ursaring ignored Alex's warning and ran in the direction of Alex and his Pokemon. Alex said aloud, Golbat use Confuse Ray and then use Sludge Bomb. Scyther uses Agility and Focus Energy before you help Golbat. After saying that, he got away from the fight with Ralts. Alex wants to keep his distance from the battle to be able to use Ralts's teleport in case of an emergency. And if he is safe, Golbat and Scyther don't have to worry about him or protect him and can fight without any hindrance. Alex told Ralts via telepathy, Ralts, use Growl. Ralts heard Alex's thoughts and used Growl to reduce Ursaring's attack strength. Growl is a strange move. It can lower the attack power of another Pokemon with shouting. Of course, it depends on the LV of the Pokemon that uses this move to be really useful. For example, if a Ralts that is LV12 uses Growl against an Ursaring that is LV36, it will hardly reduce the attack power of Ursaring. But if Ralts were also LV36 or maybe even more, it would be a different matter. It would reduce Ursaring's attack force even more. But of course, 
you can not use it infinite times. And it reduces the attack power, but there is also a limit to how much you can do it. It will depend on the mastery rank of Growl. The upper limit of the amount the total attack power that can get reduced will depend on the LV difference in the rank of the move. Ursaring noticed that his attacks were a bit weaker. But he ignored it. It barely weakened his attack power. He saw a yellow ball of light fly in his direction and dodged Golbat's confused ray. Then he jumped in the air and used Slash on Golbat. Golbat realized that he could not avoid this attack and used Protect to protect himself. Ursaring's strong slash move hit Golbat's shield and crush it in just a second. Ursaring's slash move's mastery was on expert rank and had ridiculous strength. After his protect shield got destroyed, Golbat was hit by a weakened slash and suffered some damage. Alex was surprised that Golbat's protect couldn't completely block the attack. He had really underestimated this Ursaring attack power. Alex said out loud, Golbat, quickly use Confuse Ray again. Golbat who trusted Alex, immediately used Confuse Ray on Ursaring. Ursaring, who had just fallen to the ground, couldn't avoid Golbat's attack and was hit by Golbat's Confuse Ray. Suddenly he saw the world moving around and was confused about what is going on. He could see two Golbat in front of him. Scyther, who thought he had used agility and focus energy for long enough, flew in the direction of Ursaring. He flew with fast speed and used wing attack against the confused Ursaring. Ursaring was distracted by Golbat and saw the Scyther ramming into him a little bit too late. Scyther's wing attack hit Ursaring with all his might and fling Ursaring five meters away. Ursaring got up quickly and shouted angrily. There was only a slight wound on his stomach. Alex thought, well, it looks like this will take longer than I initially expected. Chapter 47 Alex saw Ursaring take hardly any harm and said sternly, okay. Scyther, Golbat, in this fight, we would have to give everything to win. So listen to me carefully. Scyther, you use Fury Cutter and go into close combat with Ursaring. Aim at his head. Golbat, you use Wing Attack on his right knee. Attack simultaneously with Scyther. After saying that, he whispered to Ralts and said, Ralts, use Disable as soon as Ursaring uses Slash. Alex developed this tactic for such a difficult opponent. Scyther fights Ursaring in close combat. So the Ursaring can hardly avoid attacks from both sides, and because Scyther aims at his head, Ursaring will automatically protect his head. With this, Ursaring's right knee will suffer serious damage. Of course, Alex doesn't think that with only this, they can defeat Ursaring. It is for limiting Ursaring's mobility. In order to defeat him, restricting his mobility is phase one of his plan. Scyther and Golbat understood Alex accurately and attacked Ursaring at the same time. Scyther attacked from the front and Golbat from the side. Ursaring, who had suffered damage after a long time, got mad and used Slash on the incoming Scyther. Scyther was using Fury Cutter and collided with Ursaring's Slash. Ursaring's Slash was a good deal stronger than Scyther's attack, and it sent Scyther flying. Scyther flew back three meters and had a minor injury on his right arm, Scythe. Shortly after Ursaring's attack, Ursaring's right knee was hit by Golbat's wing attack. Golbat did not miss this opportunity to attack. Even though Golbat had hit it unprotected, Ursaring's right knee was only slightly injured. That shows what a high amount of defense this Ursaring has. Ralts immediately used Disable, and Ursaring suddenly felt like a weak force was preventing him from using his strongest move. Ursaring suppressed this feeling in a second and again used Slash against Golbat, who wanted to fly away. Alex was surprised that Ursaring can suppress Ralts's Disable. Disable has 100% accuracy. But after thinking about it, he had to say that it made sense. This is the real world and not a game. Ursaring is more than three times the level as Ralts, and his move is on the expert rank. Of course, Ralts cannot suppress Ursaring. Golbat tried to dodge Ursaring's attack but wasn't fast enough to outrun his attack range. One second before Golbat was about to be hit, Scyther came in front of Golbat and used Fury Cutter to protect Golbat. Alex saw this and became happy. When they are serious, they're a great team. Scyther's attack got stronger than before but it still wasn't enough to withstand the whole attack and was sent back flighting. After that hit, Scyther's two arms were bleeding profusely. Golbat used the time when Ursaring could not defend himself and attacked Ursaring's right knee again. Ursaring's right knee had another minor injury after this attack. 
Ursaring realized what the two Pokemon were trying to do and tried to protect his knee in this fight. But Golbat and Scyther wouldn't let that happen. As soon as Ursaring wants to protect his knee, he was attacked by Scyther, who would aim his head. After three minutes of intense fighting, Golbat and Scyther, who are badly injured and Ursaring that can no longer move his right knee, were on the field. Golbat and Scyther have sustained a great deal of harm to damage Ursaring's mobility. Alex was sure that Golbat and Scyther only have around 20 to 30 HP percent left. He is certain that after two more hits, they would be defeated by Ursaring. Alex said sincerely, Good job, Scyther, Golbat. Now step two, Golbat, use Toxic on this Ursaring quickly. Scyther, you use Focus Energy and Agility, but you keep your distance from Ursaring and do not attack him under any circumstances. Alex's next step is very dangerous. Ursaring's abilities is Guts. As soon as he is poisoned by Golbat, his attack becomes stronger. That was the main reason why Alex wanted to restrict Ursaring's mobility. And why he told Golbat to use Wing Attack and not Sludge Bomb, even though it is his strongest move. Sludge Bomb has the probability of poisoning the opponent. But as long as Ursaring can't hit him and his Pokemon, he doesn't have to worry about Ursaring reinforcing attacks. Golbat used Toxic on the Ursaring, which can barely move and of course, Golbat hit Ursaring with Toxic. Ursaring noticed what these two Pokemon were up to and shouted angrily, You two cowards! Why don't you fight me fair and clean? Golbat looked arrogantly at Ursaring and said, Why should I fight an idiot fairly? Just because you can't fight any other way doesn't mean that we must fight you in the same way. We don't need to lower our IQ for you. Scyther said coldly, The fight wasn't fair. As long as I was on the same level as you, I would have easily beaten you. Don't tell me about fairness. Alex didn't know what this Ursaring was saying, but he doesn't really care what a loser said. Ursaring became desperate that he could no longer harm Golbat and Scyther and used the rest. Alex knew that Ursaring would use this move and that's why he told Scyther to use agility and focus energy when Ursaring was poisoned. It was not smart of Ursaring to use the rest because he cannot defend himself for two to three minutes. As long as the move rest expert rank reaches it, it can be done within 1.5-2 minutes. But Alex thinks that even one minute is enough for Scyther and Golbat to defeat Ursaring. Especially Scyther with Focus Energy and Fury Cutter will do serious harm to Ursaring. After Ursaring had used Rest, all of his injuries healed him in a second. And even his poison state was healed. After his injuries healed, Ursaring fell asleep. Now, although he is no more poisoned, that doesn't mean he can't get poisoned again. And now Golbat can use Sludge Bomb without any fear. So not only Ursaring was poisoned, again, but the attacks on him became even more intense. Fury Cutter's power keeps on increasing. It can get four times the original attack power. Scyther and Golbat cleared the asleep Ursaring in 92 seconds. An unconscious Ursaring lay on the floor. It had many injuries and was bleeding profusely. Alex was surprised that Ursaring had survived so many attacks. Especially since the attack power DPS of Scyther is ridiculously strong. He healed Golbat and Ursaring with two super potions and used an antidote for Ursaring. Then he caught Ursaring with a Pokeball. Scyther had Roost and didn't need Alex to heal him. Alex knew that Pokeballs can only restrict Pokemon before the Elite Rank LV40. Of course, you can also catch an Elite Pokemon in a Pokeball, but then this Pokemon can always get out of the Pokeball if it wants. Elite trainers often used Pokeballs for their trusty Pokemon. Chapter 48 Alex and his Pokemon rested under a tree after this fierce battle. Alex suddenly heard how he had received a message from Maria on his TRH Team Rocket Handy device. He had only given his details to two people, Lars and Maria. Maria. Hey Alex, I have to prepare for the rookie tournament, and I need a strong training partner for sparring matches. I wanted to ask if you have the time. Alex. I'm currently in the wild and won't come back to the base within five days. If you still have time we can train together after five days. Maria. I can wait, the tournament doesn't start for 20 days. See you in five days. Alex. Bye bye. After being separated from Maria a bit, Alex was calmer with her than before. He still had feelings for her, but he can keep his emotions more in control and talk with a rational mind. Alex wanted to let the relationship develop naturally and not come across as too aggressive. 
Alex also wrote a message to Lars and asked him about in general matters. For Alex, Lars is not a real friend, at most an ally. He only wrote to Lars to get some information and to have one more, friend, in Team Rocket in the future. Although friendship in Team Rocket is not worth much, it is not a bad thing to have many, friends, in Team Rocket. Lars shared three big pieces of information with Alex. 1. The boss Giovanni promoted instructor Lisa and, now she is a Team Rocket executive. She is also in charge of the Pewter City Team Rocket base. 2. The reason instructor Lisa got promoted is that she caught a half-blood legendary Pokemon. Lars doesn't know which legendary Pokemon instructor Lisa captured. 3. Lars has heard that Pokemon gym leader Brock will fight an Elite Four within a week. The Alliance sends an Elite Four once a year to check whether a gym leader is strong enough to keep his position, and the test of Brock is in a week. Alex was shocked at how much had happened. Especially the news that instructor Lisa caught a half-blood legendary Pokemon surprised him very much. In this world, legendary Pokemon split into two groups. Half-blood legendary Pokemon and full-blood legendary Pokemon. The difference between these two legendary Pokemon groups is enormous. Half-blood legendary Pokemon are much weaker than the full-blood legendary Pokemon, and you can find them at several places in this world. For example, you can find several Half-Blood Zapdos Pokemon in this world. Furthermore, although they are rare, it is possible to catch a Half-Blood Legendary Pokemon. As proof, Pyramid King Brandon has captured three Half-Blood Legendary Pokemon, Regirock, Registeel, Regice. Of course, even Half-Blood Legendary Pokemon are ridiculously rare and are still persecuted and feared by most trainers. Of the full-blood Legendary Pokemon, there is only one Pokemon per species in this world, there is only one full-blood Zapdos, Articuno, Moltres, etc. in this world. But these full-blood legendary Pokemon are ridiculously powerful. Even a weak, full-blood legendary Pokemon, e.g., Zapdos, can destroy an entire small island with one attack, and it would be at least as strong as a Pokemon team, six main Pokemon, from the Elite Four. In addition, full-blood legendary Pokemon do not age and stay young forever. In this world, no trainer has ever managed to catch a full-blood legendary Pokemon. They are the reason why the word, legendary, is in their name. There have been many strong trainers in history who have been killed by full-blood legendary Pokemon for trying to catch them. Full-blood legendary Pokemon are gods in this world, and nobody should provoke them in any circumstances. Alex was hardly surprised that instructor Lisa got promoted. She had enough strength to become a Team Rocket executive and now that she's made such a distinguished contribution to Team Rocket, it was only a matter of time before she got promoted. Alex Ruff Assessment of the Ranks in Team Rocket Team Rocket Lackey Team Rocket Member LV 15-25 Team Rocket Elite Member LV 25-35 Team Rocket Captain LV 30-39 Team Rocket Elite Captain LV 40-49 Team Rocket Executive LV 45 Of course, these level numbers are only average for Team Rocket members and are not always accurate. Some members want to get stronger first and don't care much about their promotion, such as Alex. Instructor Lisa had an LV-49 Alakazam and was already more than strong enough to be promoted. All she had to do was make an exceptional contribution to Team Rocket to get promoted. Alex also knew that Gym Leader Koga, Lieutenant Surge, Sabrina, Blaine, and Three Beasts Remus, Ernest, and Carmel had at least the same status in Team Rocket as a Team Rocket executive. While Alex isn't sure, it might probably be even higher than a Team Rocket executive. After thinking about the many powerful trainers in Team Rocket, Alex's hunger for strength continues to grow. After 30 minutes, Alex and his Pokemon went further into the forest. Although Alex is not deep in this woods, he is no longer on the edge of the jungle. Alex wants to train his Pokemon in this area to get stronger faster. Although it's relatively dangerous, Alex wasn't scared with Ralts on his shoulder. Ralts can teleport Alex and his Pokemon away in an emergency. After only 15 minutes, Golbat spotted five Pokemon that were approaching Alex. Four Meowth that are between levels 16 to 22 and have normal potential and one Persian who is the leader of this group. Pokemon. Persian. LV. 33. Type. Normal. Abilities. Technician. Gender. Male. Potential. Bronze. Moves. 
fake out, growl, scratch, bite, taunt, payday, faint, fury swipes. Screech, slash, Alex said, Golbat, use Sludge Bomb to defeat these for me out. Scyther, you are going to use Fury Cutter on this Persian. After saying that, he whispered to Ralts, get ready to use teleport in case something unexpected happens. Chapter 49, the Persian leader saw that Alex's Pokemon was attacking him and got angry. In this area, nobody dares to attack him except for that monster Ursaring, who hardly takes any damage from his attacks. Although Persian cannot defeat this monster from an Ursaring, he can always run away as soon as he sees him and does not have to fight for his life. That was one of the reasons why he was never afraid of another Pokemon in this area. Persian used Fake Out and hit Scyther before Scyther could do anything. Scyther was hit and took some damage. The Fake Out made Scyther flinched, due to which he suddenly couldn't move for a second. Persian took this chance and used Fury Swipes to inflict serious harm on Scyther. In the meantime, the four Meowths fought against Golbat. Though, you can hardly call it a fight. Golbat dodged almost all attacks in the air and used Sludge Bomb to defeat one Meowth after another. The four Meowth tried to dodge Golbat's attacks, but they could only try. One Meowth was even poisoned due to Golbat's sludge bomb. Persian wanted to save his subordinates but was stopped by Scyther using the Fury Cutter. Persian tried to avoid Scyther attacks but couldn't dodge it. Persian was injured and suddenly said in Pokemon language, withdraw. After Persian had said this, he and his four Meowth ran away. Alex saw how fast this Persian ran and knew that his Pokemon could not catch this Persian. Although Alex can catch the four Meowth, it is not worth it to catch four weak Pokemon with normal potential. Scyther and Golbat saw that Alex didn't say anything and knew that Alex didn't want to pursue this Persian. Scyther used Roost to heal his minor injuries, and Golbat calmly stood watching everything around him. After 10 minutes, all Pokemon had enough rest. Alex and his Pokemon went ahead. Alex suddenly smelled a strong aroma of honey in the air and thought, Pokemon honey. Nice. If I'm lucky and find a lot of Pokemon honey, then I'll get rich. I should still be careful not to be attacked by a strong Pokemon protecting this honey. Alex said, Scyther, you move in the front of the group, and Golbat will fly over the group to detect aerial attacks earlier. Ralts, get ready to use teleport in case something unexpected happens. Scyther and Golbat listened to Alex and moved into their positions. After Alex distributed the tasks, he and his Pokemon moved in the direction of the rich aroma of the Pokemon honey. After just three minutes, Golbat warned Alex that there were five Pokemon near the concentrated aroma of the honey. Alex and his Pokemon slowly approached the place where the five Pokemon are and saw that all five Pokemon were Beedrill. These five Beedrill were unexpectedly strong. Four Beedrill were between levels 23 to 28, and all had bronze potential. Besides, the leader was particularly strong. Pokemon. Beedrill. LV. 31. Type. Bug Poison. Abilities. Sniper. Gender. Male. Potential. Silver. Moves. Poison Sting. String Shot. Harden. Hack. Twinedle. Rage. Fury Attack. Focus Energy. Poison Jab. Agility. Pin Missile. Outrage. Innate Talent. Drill Run. E. Alex saw these five Beedrill approaches a bush that smells like honey and thought. This beedrill is ridiculously strong. I should catch it. But where is the honey tree? I thought that in this world, only honey trees produce the Pokemon honey. And still, I see that this bush has honey. But how did this bush produce Pokemon honey? That should be impossible. As soon as the five beedrill were only half a meter away from the bush, the bush suddenly moved and spread a green powder around the five beedrill. Alex saw this and thought, sleep powder. Wait is the bush a Pokemon. The five Beedrill were also surprised and inhaled too much of the powder and fell asleep. The leader managed to hold out for a few seconds, but he fell asleep anyway. A large victory bell slowly rose from the ground. It grabbed a bronze Beedrill and put it in his mouth. After just 10 seconds of digestion, he ate the next Beedrill. Alex saw a big victory bell emerge from this floor and thought, Fouke. That was way too close. If this Beedrill hadn't spotted this Victory Bell before me, it would have been my Pokemon and me in their place. Why didn't I think about the fact that Golbat can't find Pokemon that are underneath the earth? I've almost lost my life for this thoughtlessness. Alex took a good look at the Victory Bell. 
Pokemon. Victory Bill. LV. 41. Type. Grass Poison. Abilities. Chlorophyll. Gender. Female. Potential. Gold. Moves. Vine Whip. Growth. Wrap. Acid. Sleep Powder E. Poison Powder. Stun Spore. Razor Leaf. Poison Jab. Innate Talent. Solar Beam. E. Innate Talent. Mega Drain. E. Alex saw how strong this victory bell was and thought. Gold. Mega Drain. Sleep Powder. And Solar Beam on the Expert Rank. Level 41. What the F U K. Why is this ridiculous strong Pokemon not deeper in the forest? Hmm. I should calm down first and think about whether I have a chance to catch this victory bell. No, I don't think so. This victory bell is just too strong for me to catch. Even with good tactics, I would lose the battle 95% of the time and would be eaten by this Pokemon afterward. But, I want this gold Pokemon. It has its three strongest moves on the expert rank, Sleep Powder, Mega Drain, Solar Beam, and has ridiculously good potential gold. But I'm too weak right now to be able to catch this Pokemon. I should come back to this place later, as soon as I am strong enough to defeat and catch it and hope that this victory bell stays in this place. Okay, what about the Silver Beedrill? It's not bad either. It has Sniper ability, Innate Talent, Drill Run on the Expert Rank, and it has Silver Potential. Also, his level is relatively high. It's strong enough to become my Pokemon. I can probably save it with Protect and Teleport but it's not 100% safe to do that. I would only do it if I wanted to catch this Beedrill as my Pokemon. So should I take the risk to catch this Beedrill as my Pokemon? Chapter 50. Victory Bell ate the third Beedrill and digested it within a few seconds. Victory Bell grabbed the last bronze Beedrill and put it in his big mouth. Alex saw that he doesn't have much time to think about it and thought, I don't have any more time. This is now or never. It is best to catch it now. Alex said quietly, Golbat, use Confuse Ray when Victory Bell is not careful. Then block Victory Bell's first attack with Protect. Scyther, you fly and collect the Pokeball as soon as I catch Beedrill and come back using Quick Attack. Ralts, use Teleport as soon as I give you the signal you. All three Pokemon nodded and waited for Golbat's attack. After just a second, Golbat used Confuse Ray and hit the remote Victory Bell with it. After Golbat hit Victory Bell, Alex threw the Pokeball on top of the sleeping Beedrill and barely hit Beedrill with the Pokeball. Alex saw that he had almost thrown wrong and thought that he should practice throwing more later. Scyther and Golbat flew quickly toward the confused Victory Bell. Victory Bell stopped being confused only after a few seconds and saw these attackers flying in her direction. She looked at these weak Pokemon with contempt and charged Solar Beam. It was the middle of the day and very sunny. In this weather, it doesn't take long to charge a solar beam, especially not a solar beam on the expert rank. Scyther flew in front of the Pokeball and used his teeth to pick up the Pokeball. Alex saw this and thought, wow, I only now notice that my two strongest Pokemon have no hands. Sometimes I really forget the smallest things. Victory Bell finished charging and was using solar beam on Scyther, who was near him. Golbat saw this and quickly flew in front of Scyther and used Protect to block this attack. A large yellow beam hit Golbat's shield and shattered it in less than a second. Golbat was hit by Victory Bell's solar beam and suffered severe injuries. Half of his body was covered with blood and opening wounds. Alex would estimate that Golbat only had around 30% HP. Alex was shocked at how much damage Golbat had taken. You have to consider that this attack was weakened by Golbat's Protect and Golbat takes only one quarter damage from grass type moves. And still, Golbat was almost defeated. Alex thought, FCK. This victory bell is a monster. If Golbat was hit by a different type of move, he would have been torn to pieces by now. Why is she so much stronger than the Ursaring? Hmm, the main reason is probably that she has gold potential and that she's on the elite rank. I heard that a Pokemon on LV39 is much weaker than an identical Pokemon on LV40. Golbat and Scyther saw how strong this Victory Bell is and quickly flew in the direction of Alex. Victory Bell was angry that these two weak Pokemon tried to steal his food and charged Solar Beam again. After a few seconds, Golbat and Scyther were in front of Alex and waited for the next order. Alex saw everyone was ready and said, Ralts, use teleport. After Alex had said that, he and his Pokemon disappeared amid a shining light. 
Victory Bell saw his prey suddenly disappear and scream angrily into the air. Alex and his Pokemon suddenly appear on the tree where Alex and his Pokemon stayed last night. Teleport can only be used if Ralts remembers this place and has already been to this place. Golbat sat down on the floor and said bitterly, I'm really so weak that every elite Pokemon can easily kill me. Fucking Tauros shit. Ralts looked at Golbat and said cheerfully, Brother Golbat, don't be angry. You've only been training for a few weeks. This Victory Bell has been in the wild for years and had enough time to get stronger. I'm sure that after a few months, you will be much stronger than this Victory Bell. Quote, Golbat looked at Ralts's beaming face and had to suppress his face to not smile. Alex saw Golbat repressing a smile and laughed softly in the background. Scyther recognized that too and made fun of Golbat, oh, is number two too cool to smile? Although I have to admit it was really cool how you were just beaten up by Victory Bell. Golbat looked coldly at Scyther and said, shut up, you bug. Have you forgotten which idiot I had to save because he got too close to Victory Bell? Better be thankful that I saved your life, you clown. Golbat and Scyther started insulting each other again. Ralts saw that her brothers were arguing again and said sadly, why can't you be nice to each other for one time? Golbat and Scyther both immediately stopped arguing as soon as they heard it. Ralts was happy and said excitedly, I'm so glad you listened to me and stop arguing. By the way I read in a book that families hug each other after a big fight to feel better. I think we can try that out too. Quote, Scyther and Golbat look at each other and both said, no way. Alex laughed out loud, he hugged Ralts, and said with a smile, Ralts, we're not a conventional family. We don't have to hug after every argument to get along. Golbat and Scyther, in particular, are too, cool, to do that. So if you want to hug someone, you always let me know. Ralts looked at Alex, happily and said, Thank you, Dad. You are the best. Scyther and Golbat had the same annoyed expression on their faces. Alex put a super potion out of his TRH device and healed Golbat's injuries. Then he thought about training Beedrill as his Pokemon. After five minutes of intense thinking, Alex decided against it. Although Beedrill had good potential and has a good mega evolution, it is not the type of Pokemon that Alex wants to train. It can only be trained as an assassin and needs many valuable items to increase their potential. Scyther Golbat and Ralts can all still evolve. That makes it easier to increase their potential. Although Alex did not have enough money to buy these valuable items for his Pokemon, he will soon have enough money. The main reason why Alex went to the forest to catch Pokemon is to earn enough money to buy these valuable items for his Pokemon. 